South Africa is the only African country in the BRICS grouping able to benefit from the new development bank offering. At the moment, South Africa, as the only member country of the bank, African member country of the bank, is the only country that can actually take advantage of the new development bank. And I think that's a, a key challenge for, for African countries going forward for the new development bank. Getting the continent involved is going to be a key objective. Perhaps uh, the, the starting point should be to give institutions such as the African Union, the NEPAD or the SADC and other regional blocs uh, some voting rights and a seat in the new development bank for it to get some, some level of legitimacy. Uh, but that all depends as well whether the African Union as a collective has an aspiration to be a member of the new development bank. There's a fair amount of excitement about the new African Regional Centre opening its doors in Johannesburg. There are also a few questions. The bank is certainly um, saying a lot of things. They're saying good things. I think a lot of countries are, are really excited about what the bank is saying. Uh, certainly the policies that we've seen coming from the bank is very encouraging, uh, addressing some of the concerns developing and emerging countries have with traditional development banks. Uh, however, we're still waiting for a rollout of a lot of the projects to see how these new initiatives, new ideas are, are being implemented in, in practice. They bring uh, additional uh, development finance uh, from the Global South, which we think it will take into consideration the needs of the poor and also counter uh, balancing the traditional uh, development financing mechanisms, which is your usual Britain Hoods uh, institutions. So there is that anticipation and hope that it would uh, consider uh, the developmental and sustainable development um, uh, agenda um, requirements and the needs, of, in particular for the African continent. Yeah. The biggest challenge facing the new development bank is how it's going to work with African countries because those are the ones that are in need of infrastructure investments. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.